All right, I want to welcome you to the only aisle video. Now, the only aisle that you need to go into when it comes to the grocery store is the outside aisles. So we're going to avoid the middle aisles, the mountains of sugar. If you have not watched that lesson, watch it right after this. But again, the only aisle. It's the aisles where the fruits and the vegetables and the milks and the yogurts and the juices, which we will talk about all of this stuff throughout this video. So again, just follow along with me. Now, one of the biggest questions I get asked is what type of yogurt to eat? Uh, there's many different options. Now, there's so much different color variety. The best thing that you can do is to look for the least amount of sugar. Now, these right here, have some of the least amount of sugar in it. It's six grams only. However, there's still a bunch of ingredients in here. Again, yogurt's not the perfect thing. However, I don't ban it. I put it on the nutrition guide because I love yogurt. I see the benefits from yogurt. So again, I was just looking. This is a great, great brand, The Light and Fit. Um, however, if you're eating it individually, those are great. The stuff with some uh, compared to strawberry or vanilla, there's gonna be difference in sugar, so keep an eye out for that. However, if you're just using it for smoothies, you can add this stuff. Now right here, I'm gonna look. Uh, we're gonna grab this Chobani. Now this is your Chobani Greek yogurt, non-fat. Um, when it looks at this, we got six grams only of sugar. Very, very good compared to when we grab the Chobani sugar, or the basically Chobani sugar, we got 24 grams in here. So there's a big difference when it comes to plain and not. This is great for smoothies. However, this is also great if you want to take your own raspberries or your own honey or your own strawberries and put it in here. This is going to be much better options than this. So again, buy this plain stuff. It's got way less sugar. Add your fruit to it. If you are in the hurry, and on the go, uh, this is a great option. This is going to be one of your best. Again, always look at that sugar content. If it's got a label on it, chances are it's not the best for you. However, dairy stuff has labels labels on it. Yogurt's one of those things that I uh, I personally enjoy. I get a lot of benefit out of it. A lot of nutrients. Um, again, <laughs> of course, you don't want to buy the yogurt to the animals. Um, and always avoiding kind of these yogurt smoothie things. You just you just don't want it. You don't need it. Um, of course, when it comes to juice, if you have not watched the Mountains of Sugar video, watch this. I will teach you in that video why you should not ever drink any sort of fruit juice. So don't forget to watch that video. We're gonna jog a little bit here because we're starting to get to some of these bad aisles. Now again, milk, 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 milk talked a little bit about this in the or in the mountains of sugar video as well what you want to avoid of course is the almond milks um, unless you're lactose intolerant you might enjoy those but watch out for the sugar the great thing about this milk uh, I'm gonna grab skim milk because I personally enjoy this again if your goal is weight loss skim milk is gonna have less calories do not drink your calories the best thing in, is this, yes, there is sugar. However, when you go into this ingredient list, fat-free milk, there is no sugar added. When you look at the almond milks, you'll be surprised at how much sugar is in that stuff. Added sugar, big difference. So milk, again, yes, there's sugar on the label. It's called lactose. If you're lactose intolerant, you can't have this. The sugars are natural and milk is healthy for you. Try to get at least a couple, uh, couple cups of uh, milk in a day. If you are experiencing cramps, milk's gonna help with that along with bananas. So let's keep moving along here. Bypassing again all this stuff. We got organic milk. Organic stuff tends to be just twice as much, but you don't get twice the amount of nutrients. So again, you want a quick tip how to save money on your groceries. Don't buy any of the processed food, but also don't buy organic. I'll probably be one of the only people that'll tell you this, and I will tell you why when we get to those other products. Eggs. Eggs are great. Eggs are one of my favorite things to start my breakfast with, right, Jeff? Yep. What's your favorite breakfast? Uh, uh, whatever, whatever's made. He just likes <laughs> eggs. They're different. Uh, watch some of those videos I've made. Uh, broccoli with eggs. And you can do so much with eggs. Two to three eggs in the morning is a great way to get some protein, some healthy fats. Great way to get healthy fats, by the way. Um, and just kind of start your day. Don't forget breakfast. Eggs are awesome. 
really when it comes down to it, organic, non-organic, whatever you prefer. It doesn't really matter as long as you are eating the right foods and you are getting it in. I did want to talk about this. They started creeping in with the cookie doughs and the biscuits and the creamers into these outside aisles. When I remember when I was a kid, it used to be tucked away in the fridges inside those middle aisles. It is all came out here. So again, when you're out here, avoid this, avoid these. Most of the time you are going to want to avoid the stuff that is in the outside aisle, but in the middle of the outside aisle, because we got cookies and cookies and juice. They really throw this stuff right here. The reason that these little uh, side drawers, I want to call it, are here is because if you're skipping those mid, uh, middle aisles, those inside aisles, if you're skipping them, they're still going to get that product in front of your eyes. So you put it in your cart. Do not fall into the tricks. There's so many tricks in the layout that come into the store and the developments make you grab this, make you want that. Do not do it. Do not fall into it because we're going to start running here again. We know cheese is not good, right Jeff? Yeah, that's right. He loves his cheese. <laughs> but I mean, no more. Um, but cheese is not a very good thing. Um, not a very good thing, excuse me. I know that sounds hard. Just like I told you, you shouldn't be eating bread in the last aisle. Cheese moderation, if you're gonna have it, it's gotta be moderate. Um, avoiding a lot of these deli meats unless it's low in sodium. Um, just get the real meat, cut it up. Shouldn't be having too many sandwiches. Definitely no hot dogs. Again, there's different hams in here. Again, lots of sodium. Just do not, or just make sure that if you are eating ham, just don't make it a regular thing because there is lots of sodium um, when they smoke those things. Same thing, and you gotta avoid this stuff. It's starting to creep into all avoid, of these. Avoid the hot dogs. Avoid the hot dogs. I mean, we know this. This is really the worst meat of them all. Again, hot dogs are made, these Franks are made from the worst meat of them all. Um, that's just a funny joke, and I don't know if you guys know who John Candy is, but he said some pretty funny things about hot dogs once in some movies. I think it's so true and funny because this stuff is really, really bad for you. Um, same thing right here. Something that I do like, I like these because this grill ready, um, grill ready, it's already cooked. You can heat it up inside the microwave, heat it up inside the oven, and then you can toss it on a nice, nice salad. Now, again, you gotta be careful when it comes to buying these. Look out for sodium, but again, these are really good. These Tyson's Grill and Ready, as long as it's not high sodium, great for a salad. And we're gonna get to all those veggies here real quick. Again, we're running, because there's nothing good in those middle aisles. Those are all the mountains of sugar. If I stood there, so stay out of the middle aisles. Yep. And all you gotta do is just keep running along here. Again, hold on though, wait. We got different meat options. Again, ground turkey, ground beef, it's all good. Again, there's nothing that really makes it any better. Again, always be looking for your leaner cuts if you are making stuff. Again, this goes great with eggs. Um, you can take this Italian seasoned crown or uh, ground turkey, you can kind of, uh, brown it is the word and then you put some eggs with it it tastes phenomenal uh, again we got more sausages we got to avoid those sausages um, we got pork pork's a cheap meat um, has a lot of great benefits to it Again, pork is okay go for your leaner cuts where you can see this isn't very good again rib tips loaded with that saturated fat However, if we get to some of these pork chops, you get a lot less of that fat in there and most of this stuff can be cooked right off. The less saturated fat, the better. So porks are great. Chicken is phenomenal. Um, obviously, you wanna be being careful of stuff that's coming and looking like this. This just doesn't look healthy. It just isn't healthy. Um, so be careful when it comes to that. Um, yes, I do know we are in Walmart right now. It's actually one of the most um, shopped places in the world. So that's why I'm here because maybe a lot of you guys shop here. Um, the lean cuts, you're gonna wanna go for some of these sirloins, um, some of the top sirloins. And what you're gonna wanna avoid, obviously, are these that are loaded with the saturated fat. Um, you just can't have it every time. Again, you want it, you have red meat, you know, probably about max of three times a week. Uh, mix in your chicken, mix in your porks, 
mix in other meats and that's gonna be the best. Again, try not to overdo it when it comes to um, red meats. Again, ground beef, you gotta use, you gotta use some of this stuff that has less fat in it. Again, right here, we got our 96.4. Again, yes, it's gonna be more expensive, but you don't wanna just be putting saturated fat into your body. Uh, if you're gonna do it, we got the 93.7, that's great as well. 96, 93, great selections in here. Um, then we got the 80, again, do not, do not buy that stuff. Yes, this is much cheaper. Um, we got $7 for that. This is gonna be about $3 more only. It's really gonna make a big difference. You don't wanna just be buying fat that you just pour down the drain anyway. Um, fish, fish are a big yes. One catch though when it comes to fish. One Get catch. it? One catch. Uh, make sure that it is fresh caught and make sure that on the package, so you're gonna see that it says wild caught, make sure that it does not say farm raised. You don't want farm raised. And if it is wild caught, they will put it in big letters on the front saying wild caught, um, wild caught. So whether it be salmon, whitefish, tilapia, um, tilapia is something that again make sure that that is not farm raised when we go into shrimps and lobster and crab it's just so great seafood is an amazing you're gonna get your omega-3s um, you can basically get all the omega-3s that you need in an entire week by having fish about three to four times a week as well get your fish products in whether it be shrimp or any other seafood again always watching out for that stuff right there also want to watch out for some of these super high salt products now we get to the favorite part my favorite part i wish the whole grocery store was just like this uh, but it's not we got this little tiny section Have you seen this all right we got this little tiny tiny section and let's get a good view that way look at all of that that's all the bad stuff what would you say that about five percent it's about 5% of this entire grocery store is stuff that you should eat. Um, and my take on it is if they just put more healthy food in here and got rid of a lot of that stuff, there would be so much better health inside of this world, pretty much. Um, it's just healthy food. If you want to feel good, you got to have healthy food. We know this. Eat your fruits, eat your veggies. So let's check out the fruits and veggies. Potatoes, moderation. Potatoes. You can have potatoes every single day um, and expect to lose weight, but you can have this three to five times a week. Um, just moderation. Don't have it every single day. And that goes with everything. You want to have a mixture, a variety, which is what amazes me because there's so much variety. There's so many creative things that you can do when it comes to buying these different things. Uh, we're going to kind of turn this way. Bananas, phenomenal. If you have cramps, again, they always know that if you need potassium, if you're cramping, you usually need potassium, but you also need calcium, which bananas are high in both. Milk and this are great for cramps. Now you're also gonna notice, I don't know if you've ever fallen for this trick or not, but they have the organic, uh, organic ones and they have the regular ones. My preference when I pick out both of these is these are amazing. These are the non-organic ones. These just kind of don't have a good taste. Sometimes if you buy them and they're green like this, you can keep them in your cupboard for a week and they never turn again. You're wasting your money on organic products. Uh, if you are a firm organic believer, um, I'm gonna tell you why you should switch in just a little bit. Um, and if you're not an organic person, when it comes to buying foods, just buy the real food. You are going to get those nutrients. Don't worry about organic or not. Don't waste twice as much money buying organic. It doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, we got tomatoes here. We got avocados. Good, re good way to add some uh, fats into your morning breakfast. You can add a little bit of avocado with some blueberries, yogurt, and milk, and blend it all up in a nice smoothie. It's a great option onions for flavors add this stuff use these red onions add the garlic again that stuff this isn't going to load your body with calories it's just going to load it with flavors I mean, when it comes to uh, having healthy foods again add those things those are fair game when it comes to making different stuff again we got our fruit galore and again this is not 
Um, this is not your typical where there's a lot of fruit, but there's still a lot of options. These things right here, um, I say this in a couple workouts throughout, these are like little mini vitamin packs. These clementines are awesome. You just peel them um, and then they kind of pop into your mouth like little vitamins. They're like little vitamin packs. Fruit is a giant vitamin and we'll kind of go through this once they're done bagging up some of the groceries. But again, we got oranges, must smell on these stuff this stuff is all great i think some people call it cantaloupe i don't know the difference but again it's great um we got pears we got our plums um i think or i mean excuse me gala apples we got all sorts of different stuff again we'll talk about that um apples 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 now hold on hold it we're gonna back up here now we got these apples right here are $1.67 a pound these are your typical apples um, we're gonna roll down over here. Now again, right here again, this is already doubling the price. These things are already doubling the price. You get way less apples, um, and you're only you're paying about four dollars and forty six cents. So it's about double the price when it comes to a lot of things organic. Um, I just want you guys to be careful when it comes to that. Again, when it comes to choosing food, if you're on a budget whatsoever. Don't worry about organic or not. If you want to spend the money, sure, go ahead. Or you can take this non-organic apple, put it under the water, wash it off, wipe it off on your shirt, wash off all the pesticides, and don't pay twice as much for your apple. Just my thoughts, just my reasoning on it. So again, we're gonna come this way. Uh, walking, walking, walking. Lots of people in here. More people in the middle aisles, but again, we got kale. What do you like to do with kale? You don't like kale, do you? Uh, yeah, you no. Know, I just I don't eat whatever's cooked. He just eats whatever's cooked. And I know it's healthy. <laughs> this is something that you can just kind of throw it in with some peppers. You can throw this stuff in with anything. Um, quick little tip though, you can literally cut this up, um, put it on a cookie sheet with that paper, that wax paper stuff. Kind of put a couple little drops of oil across that, kind of mix it all up and then sprinkle some salt on it. So a little bit of salt and it's kind of like a little healthy potato chip. Um, pretty good once you get used to it. Again, if you crave um, salty things and crunchy things, try out those kale chips or even better, take a banana, cut up the banana in multiple pieces, put it in a frying pan and kind of cook it on both sides. They taste amazing. It's kind of like a banana pancake. Um, so just kind of different ways to do healthy, healthy snacks. Again, snacks should be your fruits, should be your veggies, um, should be kind of all of the bright greens, the bright oranges, the bright reds, the blues, and all the color of things that are not in boxes and bags. Now, if you look, there's not really a whole lot of stuff that's in a box or a bag. Yes, we do have some of this stuff in a bag. Again, spinach is awesome. When it comes to picking out all of your different vegetables, the most important thing is the most color, the more vibrant, the more healthy, the more vibrant, the more colorful it is, the more nutrients. So again, you have your darker greens compared to your iceberg lettuce. It's gonna be much, much healthier. Again, spinach is a lot healthier. Same with your romaines and different products like that. Carrots, great for your skin. Quick tip, if you're not eating carrots, Try to have it at least once or twice a week. Great for your skin. Again, everyone knows it's great for your eyes. Um, it's also great for your skin, great for your muscles, um, and all sorts of stuff like that. Peppers. I love peppers. Jeff doesn't like peppers whatsoever. Uh, I'm not sure why. Again, they're not spicy necessarily. Again, these red peppers, these orange peppers, these yellow peppers, these green peppers, they add a bunch a vibrancy to your day again they're gonna have so many different nutrients that help to do so many different processes inside your body so if you're having eggs or even if you're having breakfast at dinner time or not breakfast at dinner time excuse me if you're having <laughs> peppers at dinner time you're gonna make some broccoli and you're gonna kind of fry up that broccoli Toss some peppers in there and kind of cook it all together. Go throw some onions in there and really just blend it all together and you'll get a great aroma of taste and a whole bunch of nutrients. Uh, when it comes to cucumbers, you guys know me, I like to add cucumbers to my water. It tastes phenomenal. Cucumbers are awesome. Um, you can cut it up, you can eat them as is. 
you can toss them in your salad, you can put it in your water. It's kind of like a magical fruit and it's got a lot of great things. Uh, mushrooms, just to touch base on that, it's not a vegetable, it is a fungi. I don't like them. If you like them, they are not bad for you and they are not good for you. If you like them, eat them, but do not put a bunch of bad stuff on them. That's all I have to say about that. We got this, we got organic. And then, so we got $3.46 for a five ounce bag. Now we're gonna go over here to kind of this right here. We got a six ounce bag for cheaper. Again, organic typically is going to be more expensive. Don't worry about it. Just buy the real food and you will be so happy because uh, you're gonna save money along the way. Um, don't let marketing kind of fool you. So when it comes to vegetables and fruits, organic, not, take your preference. I got mine, you might have yours. I would love to know in the comments after this video if you are an organic person or not. Um, and I'd be happy to go into more detail about that in the future. Just eat real foods. We got <laughs> sugar snap peas, awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Loaded peas and beans and legumes have a lot of protein green beans awesome look at that green color um, even some of this broccoli i mean this is good stuff right here we got carrots cauliflower the crumbs we got peas like that we got this it's all great i love it all it's just awesome whoops i'm gonna want to knock that down but again it's all great stuff any fruit any veggie i mean this is common knowledge if you follow it i promise you you will lose weight you will see huge things and if you follow the two videos that i have um, that i made both this one right here and the one on the mountains of sugar if you follow this stuff you are going to see huge 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 results when it comes to things um and i want to go kind of look right at this stuff right here got oranges we got nectarines Here's the plums we were talking about. Musk melon. I want to get down, down, down that way. We got these little baby bananas. Those plantains. One of my favorite things. This is the picture on the nutrition guide, I think. Right <laughs> like this. Pineapple. This is so much calcium. It's also got a lot of vitamin C. Um, lots of vitamin C, excuse me, inside of this. They always say oranges are loaded with it. This actually has so much more. This is kind of like a superfood. Um, yes, it does have a lot of sugar. And that's one thing that I want to touch base on. Bananas have a bad rap at this. Apples have a bad rap. Pineapple has a bad rap because they're considered to be high carb fruits. Now, when it comes to high carb, low carb fruits, it doesn't matter. They're both fruits. They both have their benefits to it. Uh, we're going to turn this way. They both have all of those different benefits to it. So you want to make sure that if you've ever read these crazy posts on Facebook about high carb, low carb fruits, bananas are bad, and this is gonna make you bloat. <coughs> it's not true. Um, the, the benefits and the vitamins and the minerals inside of the fruit is what really matter. The sugars inside of the fruit are natural forms of sugar and it's treated much different by your body than added sugar. So again, this low carb, high carb thing, just eat your fruits. Eat your vegetables, you should be getting three to five servings of fruit a day, um, six to eight to 10 servings of vegetables a day. Get your meat sources in, follow the meal planner. If you have not downloaded the meal guide, the planner, the whole packet where you can print it out, click below, click the link below this video. I will put a link, um, I'll put a big blue button or something down there that'll let you download that, um, just follow it, listen to the instructions. If you have to go through these videos, again, go through them. Make sure that you watch the Mountains of Sugar um, video so you can be taught all about all this stuff. Make sure you watch the other videos inside of this nutrition guide all about the smart goals of weight loss or how to use that meal planner because if you follow this meal planner, you can be just like some of the members that have lost 97 pounds. 59 pounds, 60 pounds, 45 pounds, 47, 10, 20, 15, whatever your goal is, you can do it. Because I've seen so many people follow exactly what I've just told them um, and I've seen tremendous results. Now, results are based upon what you do. 
If you are trying to lose weight and you are not losing weight, it means you are not eating the proper foods. You need to eliminate all processed foods and only eat things that are a whole food product. And fruits, vegetables, um, your lean cuts of meats that I just showed you over there. Uh, basically anything when it comes to your whole foods. Whole foods are gonna be the answer for you. Again, leave a comment below, click on the link, uh, or click on that blue button below to download that nutrition guide if you haven't already. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I think we gotta wrap it up here. There's lots of people around looking at us. So again, as always, I enjoy coming into these stores, making these videos for you, and as always, remember to keep it moving.